Hello again, and welcome to our weekly update. There's obviously one topic dominating everyone's agenda at the moment, um, not just aviation. It's clear that COVID-19 and the associated restrictions on movement worldwide will affect aviation for some time to come. Information's changing all the time and it's difficult for operators to keep up with the latest NOTAMs, restrictions, government advice on where and whether they should be flying and so on. I'm obviously not going to detail on everything here, but I would encourage everyone to register for our new free platform, Osprey Open, where we provide a range of data and information, including visualizations of COVID-19 cases worldwide and COVID-19 related NOTAMs. Uh, it's constantly being updated and it will support you in your decision-making process. Uh, coronavirus isn't just about the restrictions, um, it's also impacting staffing, as we've seen in the last day or two in Chicago and Las Vegas, where the air traffic control towers had to close after staff members tested positive, meaning the airports are now operating at reduced capacity using backup facilities. It's also given rise to uncertainty and potential safety issues in some locations. Uh, take for example yesterday, um, when a repatriation flight from Spain to Ecuador had to divert as the local authorities in Guayaquil had blocked the runway of the vehicles, uh, apparently without permission of the airport authorities. Um, like many countries, Ecuador has suspended all international arrivals by air, but people are allowed to depart the country. The coronavirus restrictions and drop in demand have significantly reduced air traffic across the globe, but aircraft are still flying and uh, there are risks, um, other risks to aviation around the world. Uh, for example, we're still closely monitoring the situation in Iraq where tensions remain heightened. Uh, since our last updates um, following rocket attacks on Al Taji Army Airfield, which killed US and UK personnel, um, following which we recommended deferring flights uh, in Iraqi airspace, um, there have been uh, US retaliatory airstrikes and further rocket attacks, and the US and Canadian authorities have both issued no terms, uh, either prohibiting or advising against the use of Iraqi airspace at all altitudes. Further such rocket attacks are likely in the days and weeks ahead. Um, with associated retaliatory action. Once again, I want to strongly encourage you to sign up to Osprey Open. It's free and there's a wealth of information on there related to COVID-19 as well as other risks to aviation. And details are in the post description. We'll see you next week.